Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Wicker here. In today's video, we're gonna play Malphite. Malphite, an insane counter. I'm just gonna show you a clip on how tanky I am on the Malphite. Picking Malphite, and I'm just unkillable. He's the best, one of the best counters against physical damage. If they're stacking or if they have a lot of attack damage, then just go Malphite. Just watch this. Can I try to use the ultimate right now? They're bunched up. Bam, ultimate, two people. I get the kill onto their karma. Look at the shield I have from the stone play. They get the mountain. Look at me. I'm just in the middle of everyone tanking so, so much. They cannot kill me. Like, look at this. It's the Rake Boss Malfoid. I cannot die. The Rake Boss Malfoid cannot die. It's gonna flash over. I'm gonna follow. And I get the kill. Raid Boss Malfoid running them down. Let's go. So anyways, as you guys can see, Malphite is so goddamn strong. For the first item, we are just gonna go steal caps. And by the way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying this gameplay. First item is gonna be steal caps, giving you physical damage reduction plus armor, obviously. Then we're getting Rumble Vest for armor and damage reflection. Plus enter heal. Then afterwards, we're getting the Sunfire Aegis for the wave clear, plus it gives you abilities and a lot of HP as well. Then Icebone Gauntlet. Icebone Gauntlet is super, super amazing on Malphite because it gives you A, 30 ability haste, which is gonna allow you to spam your abilities. Then whenever you use ability, your next auto attack is gonna do more damage, scaling with your armor, and Malphite has a lot of armor. Just alone, the second ability gives him additional armor already and the more armor you have the more additional damage you will do so Malphite actually tanks a lot and does a lot of damage for the enchantment we're getting stone plating for the shield when you're jumping in granting you a huge shield then we're finishing the brumble vest into thawmill for the damage reduction um, i mean damage reflection gives you even more anti-heal and even more damage reflection then Runduin's Omen is an amazing tool against crit damage champions because you're gonna reduce the attack speed and whenever you're getting critted at a certain point at 500 charges uh, you always get additional 500 healing so if you're taking 500 crit damage you will heal yourself up for 500 again then Twin God Twin God in the late game gives you insane amount of resistance and tenacity. The more resistance you have, the more resistance you're getting because it's scaling with your total resistance. And then afterwards, we have the Abyssal Mask. Abyssal Mask is a great flex option instead of Rondoin's Omen if you guys want to have some more magic resistance. Plus on top of that, when you receive magic damage, gain 20% of the pre-mitigation damage taken as charge. And then after a certain time, you can explode when you have too much magic damage charged. For the runes, we have Grasp. Grasp is going to give you additional damage, um, plus healing and sustain. And you also get uh, more HP whenever you hit the opponent. Then Nullifying Orb gives you shielding, then we have Second Wind, which is gonna grant us some sustain in the laning phase. You could also run Bone Plating for damage reduction, then Overgrowth for HP stacking, and then we have Mana Flow Band, very useful in the early game for Malphite, so he, can, so he doesn't run out of mana if you guys need that. Otherwise, you could also run Demolish for better turret damage, or Transcendence for more ability haste. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and let's hop right into it. Bam. Okay, let's show you the power of Malphite. We are gonna play against, wait, Riven, physical damage, Pantheon, physical damage, Yasuo, physical damage, and Caitlyn, physical damage. So there are four champions that do physical damage, and Malphite is the perfect counter to that enemy team composition. They do have Karma that does magic damage, but overall I can just stack up armor and it's gonna greatly synergize with Malphite since his second ability is gonna give him a lot of armor and Icemon Gauntlet. Uh, the more armor I stack, the more additional damage I will do as well. So very, very good. Plus we needed a frontline that can initiate as well in this, um, in this game. Okay, let's move on. Bup, bup, bup. Gonna start with the Ruby. Um, Habai, Habai plus, so you get Habai plus Rumble Vest almost every game and then Icebone Gauntlet. That's the standard item order in the early game against physical damage. I think what I should have done actually is getting the second ability, uh, level 1, would have been better. 
Because the first ability is really useless level 1. And Ribbon is pretty strong level 1. So getting the second ability gives me some more armor. Um, and more damage than the just the first ability. You guys will see like the early trading. If I just went for the second ability it would have been way more useful. Oh, he's just jumping in and look at the damage he's doing. He's actually doing a lot of damage. I have to take the plan already. Like, if I, I shouldn't have traded, but he just immediately jumped on me. And I think if he jumped on me and I have the second ability, I actually would have won the trade. So I think second ability is just way better. And right now, every time I'm going to use the first ability, he's going to try to use the shielding to block it. If you're just going to walk up to last hit, I'm going to use the second ability using auto attack. Because it's going to splash. If I'm going to hit the minion, it's going to splash forward towards him and going to do additional damage. Yes, what that as well. And also, if he wants to try to trade within the wave, he's gonna take a lot of damage as well. That's pretty useful. So if he jump, if he tries to jump on me, all the minions are gonna hit him, so he cannot trade against me. Plus, I know the enemy jungler is not here. Right here, if the if Lee Sin comes, this is such a free kill because he's taking a lot of damage. Big wave is crashing and Lee Sin is fighting against Perkin though. But unlucky. I'm trying to rotate because I have the advantage and trying to help with Lee Sin. Playing with Dom by the way, he's playing on Lee Sin. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think he, if he just came bot lane, we could have just dove here. Because that guy was super low. And big wave crashing in means he will probably die and he's gonna lose all of the minions crashing into the turret so if you see the big setup like okay big wave is gonna crash into the opponent and that the opponent's low life try to gank that lane because it's gonna be free kill and the opponent's gonna be so denied and especially in baron lane if the opponent is denied once or if he's behind he cannot one versus one anymore most of the times Yeah, but yeah, now it's, there's no point to come here. I'm just trying to wait a little bit. Our oh, big wave is gonna crash on. He's taking a lot of damage. Oh, I remember I'm gonna do a mistake here. I remember it again. Oh, he's killable and that's why I'm greedy. Yeah, I'm gonna be greedy. Like you see that this big wave is crashing in. He's taking a lot of damage. The plant is gonna spawn soon. So I'm gonna try to ignite him at the same time. So he's gonna take less healing. Because yeah, it's gonna be yeah, I'm gonna try to deny his backporting. Big wave is gonna crash in soon. Plant is up. I'm gonna ignite him at the same time, so he's gonna get less. Right here, I'm greedy. He's still ignited, so the turret is hitting me. I get two turret shots. Like, look at this big wave, and I really want to kill him. Like, look, if he dies right now, he's so denied. Can I try to get a go for the plating, I guess? Right here, I tried to fucking use ultimate and kill him, and that's a mistake, guys. Because I'm wasting the ultimate, it's gonna be on cooldown. I didn't even realize the cooldown was gonna be so long, but yeah, the cooldown is 60 seconds. 60 seconds, and you guys can see the next objective is in 30 seconds. So, if I got the kill, I think it would, it would have been worth, because he's, I'm obviously I'm gonna get the kill, and he's super denied, but I missed it, and that's actually really bad. Because now I don't have the ultimate for the next objective. But yeah, I mean, good dodge by the Riven at the same time dodging. We got the Brumble Vest. I mean, to be fair, if we can slow it down and we can not fight immediately, I might get the ultimate up in time because it's 25 seconds, 20 seconds. 20 seconds for my ultimate. 18 seconds. So if we just play it slow a little bit, might be able to get it in time. 
Riven's jumping in. Riven does have the ultimate. Kills the Lee Sin though. I get the double buff now of the ultimate. But Pantheon is on the uh, that Ocean Dragon, and I think even if I started, Pantheon has the ultimate to still come on uh, onto the Terrell. So I was like, no, nah, never mind. He might gain mid lane, and I'm thinking I'm gonna use the ultimate onto both of them, doing a lot of damage. Bam! We get one kill, and we get another kill. And now we can just go for some platings, and then go for the Rift Herald. So overall, not that bad. We got two kills, plus we're gonna get the Rift Herald, but we lost the Ocean Dragon. To be fair, that Ocean Dragon is not insanely important, to be fair. And Lee goes in, he gets the kill, nice. And right here, look at how many plating, uh, platings I'm getting. And for each plating, I'm gonna get 150 additional gold. Which looks to me... Uh, I think, by now? Oh, okay, they're gonna jump in and we'll use ultimate out. I think it's fine, because I got so much gold out of this. Did I get 3 or 4 platings? For each plating, 150 gold. I'm not sure if I got 3 or 4. But the enemy turret is almost dead, they even use flash and they didn't kill me, so I think that's fine. On my way. Also, just want to remind you, I never played Malfoy, I literally never played uh, play Malfoy. I used to play Malfoy a lot in Season 0 and I think maybe Season 1, but afterwards I barely played the Malfoy. But to be fair, Malfoy is a pretty easy beginner friendly champion, you just have to learn the ultimate and know how to trade using the minion acro correctly and just play it slow, chunk them out, if he jumps in you use the second ability and otherwise you're just gonna keep poking him with the first ability. Skill order is gonna be first ability, second ability and then third ability. I can't do too much here, I'm just gonna try to back off I guess. I wonder what Riven's first item is, but I think Riven, as the Riven, you need to get the um, Divine Sundra. Riven is just backporting, so I'm just gonna go for the turret, get that free turret. But uh, the others need to be careful because they're very deep and Riven is gonna collapse on them. Right here, Riven is gonna move. Okay, I'm gonna try to join now. Let's see what I can do. I see three people kind of low life, so I'm gonna put his ultimate on them. You see the ultimate right here? Bam! Oh, come on, nice reaction! She flashed out. So I let the ultimate on two people. Gonna use the first ability onto the karma and get the kill on Makama. The, the problem is I don't have mana. If I had mana, I would have continued here. That's why I'm gonna go for the plant right here to get the additional mana. Plus, we don't even have Icebone Gauntlet yet for some additional ability haste and mana. Plus, additional damage on your auto attacks. Plus, slow! It also gives you slow. The slow effect is really important. So, in a team fight, you can slow the opponents down really, really well. Okay, Dragon's gonna spawn for the uh, 50 seconds, so I'm gonna push out the bot lane and then I'm gonna rotate for the dragon. It's the mountain dragon as well. So, that's gonna be super useful. Okay, push out the wave and now I'm gonna rotate to that dragon. Okay, he's jumping in. Pantheon getting caught right here. It's massive. Just waiting. I'm not sure what the others are doing. 
So I'm gonna try to use the ultimate right now. They're bunched up. Bam, ultimate, two people. I get the kill onto that karma. Look at the shield I have from the stone play. They get the mountain. Look at me. I'm just in the middle of everyone tanking so, so much. They cannot kill me. Like, look at this. It's the Rage Boss Malfoid. I cannot die. The Rage Boss Malfoid cannot die. It's gonna flash over. I'm gonna follow. And I get the kill. Raid boss Malphite running them down. Let's go. And I mean, I'm not even that fat by the way at this point, but they only have physical damage pretty much. So stacking armor just makes me so tanky. Plus, you saw the stone plating granting me such a huge shield. That's insane, right? I'm trying to look for like a good ultimate, but we're not in a good position. And plus there's the top wave, so I think I'm just gonna reset and defend. And then we can group up for Baron again. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset and defend the top lane. Just taking some more armor. Anyways, what's your guys' opinion about Malfoy, by the way? Do you like Malfoy? Or do you like tanks in general? I'm wondering. But yeah, I think Malfoy is so it can be a very good pick against physical damage. You don't wanna really you don't really wanna pick him into split pushers though. Because you cannot join team fights if they have like a really strong split pusher. They beat you one versus one. And always a split pusher, so you cannot join team fights. Okay, he's ultimate onto that pantheon. It's pretty low at this point. Ah, uh, he's using ultimate out. Tragic. Okay, Karma dies. I wonder if we can fight this while they're chasing me. Trying to run, run away. I should have flashed out immediately, by the way. Here, I should have flashed out earlier. They're gonna end up killing me for this. For staying. For overstaying. I should have flashed out immediately. I thought I could tank a little bit more, but they're getting shot down because of this. So it's my bad for not just flashing immediately. Because if I just flashed immediately, I would have just survived. I think it's the ADC who's 2-7 I'm talking about, right? I didn't pay attention, but someone got caught, so that's why I said just try to group and not get caught. Well, next rank is spawning and Jin is caught again, plus Akali is also dead right now. So they got caught, so they got caught right before Dragon and guess what? This is the Triple Dragon! If they get this, they have Triple Dragon and two of our members are dead right now. So this could be pretty bad. I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons why people are losing games, because they're getting caught before the objective, like... B a very, very big mistake people are doing a lot of times. But we'll see how to get this kill. 
They actually got a really good pick, Lee Sin plus um, Lux. But yeah, we do need that dragon, otherwise he will have triple dragon. Triple dragon is gonna give them a huge boost. Because they have two dragons already, the third dragon is gonna um, boost the other buffs they already have. So instead of times two, they get times three value. So that's so much bony stats they're getting. Okay, bot wave. Just gonna get running Soman because they have, uh, I think because Yasuo, Pantheon is crit build, then they have Yasuo as well, and they have Caitlyn as well. So running Soman against three crit based champions. Yep, um, the Pantheon is also going crit. So at this point, we should just try to find a nice pick and try to get the Baron, hopefully. Best case, Lux lands a bind or they're bunched up and I can just catch them using ultimate on them. Ooh, if Lux hits the bind there we get the free pick. Ah yeah, I just might use the ultimate here. So we can get the free kill onto the Lux. Lux are already dead. Look at, look at me just tanking them. Look at me just in the back line. Look at the shield from the uh, Stormplay just tanking so much and all the others are just gonna go for the cleanup. Malfoy just soaking so much damage. And I'm gonna use the first ability onto the Caitlyn. So he's getting slow, we're gonna follow and we're just gonna ace them, nice. And you see Malfoy as an initiator just tanking so so much. And yeah we can just end the game right here, because they, will, they won't have the Nexus shield, plus we have a big shield right here, so nice, let's go. Malfoy into the right team comp, the perfect counter, like Rambus as well. Rambus into the right team comp can be an excellent counter as well. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, me playing uh, Baron lane, playing a tank. Normally I don't play a tank, but I just thought Malphite is an amazing pick right here and an amazing counter against the team comp, plus also a really good initiator with this build, tanking a lot. Doing like almost, um, I think I had second most damage in our team comp actually. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, see you guys next time, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright